welcome to tech design in this uh, video i'm going to show you how we can make this uh, trash scoop using uh, surface modeling workbench so hope you guys uh, enjoyed my last video about uh, bottle design so this is uh, a trash scoop uh, tutorial so let's get started so i'll go to the new file So we'll create a random file for surface modeling and here is our uh, coordinate system let us go to the sketcher environment so we'll select the bottom plane and I'll hit ok so I have to make some sketches in order to uh, make this uh, trash scoop so what I will do is I will take uh, a line and let us draw some lines this is that is uh, this line is having an angle with a y axis uh, that is 14.3 so let us give 14.3 degree and now this point should lie on x axis so i'll press uh, con constraints so point on a curve so this point should lie on this x axis and click close so now this uh, uh, there is a uh, one more line i wanted to draw at the uh, you can also mirror the curve but there are too many methods so I'll just make this con metric with this y axis now we have a distance here linear dimension from this point to this point it is a 25 mm okay let us fit this So now I need to draw an arc here. So I'll go to three point arc and I'll select this. I'll select this. I'll make this one. Now let us give some radius for this. It is. 25 click okay and now as you can see here our uh, sketch is fully constrained so now what i will do is i will just uh, finish the sketch and you can see here now we have this sketch now what i will do is i will just create one more datum plane uh, which is offsetted from the bottom of about 7 mm click okay and I need uh, this sketch should be on this uh, plane so what I will do is I will just uh, create one more sketch which is similar to the bottom one now let us go to the sketcher again and this should start from this point and these two should be symmetric okay and now we have one arc here let us make an arc you can notice this here uh, there is a line which is a vertical constraint i will just delete that so that i can give some dimension now what is so here is the linear distance between this point to this point it is 55 mm okay and also this point should lie on this x axis so i'll get to geometry constraint and point on a curve so this should be on this so now you can see the sketch is fully constrained so let us finish this sketch now what i will do is i'll just go to the sketcher environment again now i will select this uh, plane okay. x y plane so here what i will do is i will just draw a line from this point to this point okay, okay. so as you can see, now you can see i have drawn uh, three sketches and uh, here one more line is there so now what i have to do is combined projection i have to do 
so for that you need to go to curves and you can see combined projection curve let us uh, search inside this go to insert and desired curve combined projection so you can go to here and you need to select this curve and the second curve should be this though and also this projection direction should be normal and make this direction as below and click ok so now if you hide this uh, sketch control b you can see there is a uh, one more curve which is generated which is in which is in 3d curve which is a com combination of the previous sketch which is a combination of this curve and this curve and now uh, we have got this so i don't need this uh, sketch so i'll just what i will do is i'll just hide this now we have offset curve. so i'll go to offset curve and i'll select this so i'll soft offset this by 1 mm so let us click ok so it is offsetted by 1 mm now what i have to do is i'll just uh, create in uh, through curves between uh, the bottom sketch as well as the combined projection so for that to go to surface and uh, through curves select the bottom curve and the next set should be combined one just give the direction the opposite and we have a you know, surface here this should be made as sheet click ok now we got the surface between this sketch and the other sketch top sketch now what i will do is i will just uh, create a uh, one more sketch over on this plane so let us go to this plane click ok and I need a sketch at this section so I'll go to the line and I'll select this let us make 1 mm sketch ok click finish now what I'll do is I'll just uh, make a swept command with this line uh, around the circumference of this uh, sketch so let us go to surface and swept I'll select this uh, sketch, 1mm sketch, and the curve should be this. Now, as you can see here, it is generated. Let us complete this. Okay. In the same way, I have to do it on the other side. Go to swept, select the same line. Now, go to this. and select the curve click ok now we have uh, these two curves so let us uh, see these two surfaces so that it will be useful for us in future I will see this this and this click ok it will be saved now now what I have to do is I have to go to sketcher environment on this uh, plane I will draw a line which will help us to trim the surface so this point should lie on this x-axis give some dimension to it the dimension from this to z-axis is it is 19.2 sorry okay and the length uh, length there are there is no length constraint you can just make sure that you should give more than this surface in order to help it for trimming purpose so i'll give this much and let us uh, make it as completely constrained so that it will be useful so it is around 3 mm let us make it as 4 
and finish this sketch. Now what I will do is I will just extrude this uh, line along uh, x direction. So go to extrude and uh, select this line and the vector is automatically selected and let us give this as a symmetric value. I want this uh, extruded surface to cross through our surfaces so that it will trim. Uh, now it is ok, let us click ok. Now I want to trim this extra portion, this is not required for me anymore. So what I will do is I will just go to surface and trim sheet. So this is the trimming sheet, so this should be kept. So kept is selected, so now this is the target boundary. So click OK, this will be discarded. And you can hide this uh, surface now. Now what I will do is I will just uh, hide the sketches which will make us some confusion. So now what I have to do is uh, I will go to the sketcher environment again on the same plane. You can make all these sketches in a single uh, sketch itself. So it will be useful for you. So I'll draw a sphere which is in the shape. Okay. Now what I'll do is I need to give some dimension for this. So this height is around 0.7 mm. Make it as 0.7. And now the dimension from this point, sorry, let us give the dimension, the dimension from this point to this end it is uh, 6.2, okay, and now the dimension between this point to this it is 9. And uh, the dimension of this uh, line is uh, 3 mm. So let us give it as a 3 mm. And now this dimension is 0.8 mm. So let us give 0.8 mm here. So now our sketch is fully constrained. So let us finish the sketch. Now what I have to do is I will just extrude this. Uh, before extruding that I have to create a, a bottom surface. So let us show this extrude. So now I want this surface. So I will go to bounded plane in the surface command. So here is the bounded plane. So I will select this single curve with a point stop at point intersection and I will select this entire line and now this edge I have to select so now this is completely closed click ok for this now we can hide this now I have to extrude this uh, surface so let us go to extrude and select this line so let us give the symmetric value for this and click ok now I, now I wanted to trim this uh, sheet before uh, trimming this uh, let us make a sieve between these two so go to surface and save it this as well as this now trim sheet I wanted to trim this sheet so select this trim sheet and now boundary should be this and click ok so you can see here uh, both side it is with trimmed now what I have to do is I have to trim the bottom portion here so for that what I'll just go to trim sheet again and uh, make sure you I'm selecting here this body so it should be discarded and my target boundary should be this and click ok 
now you can see the bottom portion is trimmed so now i think uh, these all sketches are not required so i'll just go to control w and hide all the sketches as well as curves and i think this plane is required so now what i will do is i will just uh, go to this top layer top plane for sketcher click ok now we have to make a sketch on this plane so go to rectangle and uh, make on rectangle here for the handle and also make constraints so it should be symmetric and let us give some dimension this is 8 mm sorry delete this so this dimension is 8 mm so if you do 8 mm it will be divided 4 into 4 plus 4 between the section so now I have to give some other dimension from this point to this x-axis it is 45 so let us give this to this it is 45 mm okay and this height is uh, 18 mm so let us give 18 mm okay now I have to make a fillet here so press F for a shortcut this is 2.5 mm radius and here as well 2.5 mm okay so this is a handle so let us finish this sketch and create a bonded plane for this go to surface and select a bonded plane now you can go to connected curves and remove this it will create a surface so after this what i have to do is uh, how to make a bridge curve between these two uh, this so what i will do is i'll just go to curves and a bridge curve i will use the bridge curve command here so this will create a curve between these two surfaces select this curve and as well as this curve so now you can see here diamond uh, the direction is different so let us give this direction and move this so i want a curve only between this point to this point so this is the curve what i need okay let us click okay and i can able to create a uh, same bridge curve on this side as well so it may be uh, different to make exactly at this same shape so what i will do is i will just go to mirror feature and i will mirror this curve on the other side so let us go to mirror curve mirror feature and click up not able to use a mirror curve command in this uh, situation so if you want to know why you can just go to my sketcher environment uh, uh, tutorials you will come to know now what i will do is i need to fill this so i will go to surface and uh, i will select a through curve mesh so using through curve mesh i will just uh, select this curve and middle button i will select this to make sure that the stop at intersection should be on and now I will select a cross curves. This is my first cross curve and middle button, which will take you to the new set. And this is my other set. So, as you can see here, the surface is built. Click OK. And now you can see uh, almost everything is ready. Now I have to make a boundary. So, what I will just go is I will just go to extrude command and select this make use of single curve and stop at intersection and select this it is enough to have a 
point one mm in the opposite direction, not even point one mm. Point five is enough, I think. So now let me select the entire curves which comes at the boundary. Okay. Now this is ready. And click. Solid and click OK. Now what we have to do is we have to make some holes on this uh, surface. So let us go to Sketcher environment and select this. And click OK. You can make any shape of uh, curves here. So I'll, to make it simple, I am just going to create a circle with a 3 mm diameter. Sorry. Let us delete this. Now I want to make point on curve, so this point should on lie on this y axis, so it will be symmetric. Now let us uh, make it as a pattern curve. So go to this and select a pattern, and this is a linear pattern, it's not a circular, so make sure your linear is selected. And this is the curve, and this is the direction. So you can give the number of uh, holes. I'll just give three numbers and click OK. Let us make some more dimension. Let us give four mm for this. Okay, it looks better. And I want to give some linear distance between this point two. This x axis, let us say it has 40, sorry, 42, 41. Okay, 41 is enough, I think. Click OK and finish the sketch. Now I wanted to trim this, so let us go to surface and uh, trim sheet. Oh, I wanted to trim this sheet, which should be kept, so I'll just select the keep and uh, select all this click ok so it will be removed now uh, everything is ready we have to give some thickness to this uh, as well as some uh, edge blends so what i'll do is uh, first i will see you uh, because uh, to give an edge blend uh, it should be everything uh, each and every uh, element should be single sheet so i'll just go to here and select any of the sheet and select everything click ok so now uh, this everything is in a single unit, single element. So now I can give some let's give some edge blender blends. So let us go to edge blend here and uh, let us select these things. Give it as a point five and click OK. Now what I will do is I'll just give the edge blends. For this as well as for this and click OK. Now what we have to do is we have to give some thickness to this uh, body. So what I'll do is I'll just go to surface and uh, thicken. Now let us select the surface. So it will create a thickness of about 0.2 mm on the below direction and click OK. Now finally what you have to do is you have to go to control W which will show and hide window. So hide everything and so show only solids. So this is what uh, how we can do our task. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos. Thank you guys. Please keep watching.